my life. You can show people and audience what sit inside you. In February, Russia invades Ukraine. I just want to help my country. We need to stay together. Alexei hangs up his ballet shoes and makes a life-changing decision. He called me my friend, he's a professional paramedic, and he called me, Alexei, if you stay at home, always need the normal guys. Don't need super like soldiers or super professional guys, but need adequate guys who can help. Alexei's wife and four-year-old son flee the country. Uh, my wife now with son in Italy. Jane, uh, tell him about uh, like in Ukraine uh, come bad uh, people, father stay protect, uh, and we wait father. We did him like uh, on uh, closes, you know, like Birk uh, with name and tell some telephone with uh, family if, if he's lost. I am watching the news and I am profoundly heartbroken. I can't watch those images and not feel compelled to do something. So I reached out to someone in my industry. As a ballet dancer myself, I reached out to another ballet dancer. I said, how can I help? What can I do? I want to do something. I need to do something. Four night visions and gas masks. Without this uh, helping, uh, we not winner and we can stay normal resistance. We always say, help us. Don't need fight for us, just help us, that's all. Please welcome to the show, Alexi and Kirsten. Thank you yes, so yes, much for yes. being here. What's up guys? So good to see you, hi guys. Hi, thanks for having us today. Absolutely, now Alexi, you're a volunteer paramedic in the war, but your family had to flee. Can you tell us about your several attempts to get them out? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, where war uh, started, uh, first time we cover in, in my friends and center of Kyiv, uh, they have a good shelter and many families be with us. Jane with son uh, go to car and stay on traffic seven hours. Oh mm. my gosh. And it's be little bad target uh, and missiles, you know, around. So we call Jane back. So she back and stay. They take uh, to train. We be a lot of people, yeah. like stay uh, 12 hours, you know, like oh. this, you know, yeah. because many, many people. Evacuation, just children and women, mm. but some guys uh, want to do uh, same. So I must be protect my family and catch wow. like two guys, you know, like and fool myself. So, yes. Wow. So, but my family is in safe and for me, it's important. Kirsten, Alexei is halfway around the world. How did you get in contact with him originally? We have a common commonality as ballet dancers. So we're both professional ballet dancers. So I reached out to him via Instagram. And the ballet world is small. We do tend to know each other. So I reached out to him to ask him what he needed, how I could help. I, I was watching the, the war unfold on the news. And the first thing he said to me was uh, he didn't have a helmet. Oh my and gosh. I'm thinking, how are you in the middle of a war and you don't have a helmet? I'm going to get you a helmet. I will get you a helmet. And I I did. I went out and I purchased items. We went through a list of items that he needed, helmets, night visions, gas masks, um, tactical gear, some, some medical what? supplies. How are you getting these supplies to him? Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. That was the hardest. Yes, that was the hardest obstacle was how do I get these items to what? him in Ukraine? because it's not easy. Two wonderful ballet dancers as well, colleagues of Alexi, and I was able to ship the supplies to them, and they created a convoy to get them through Poland into Western Ukraine, oh into Lviv, gosh. and then through to Kiev. Alexi, what has been the scariest part of the war so far for you? You can be prepared. Yeah. I'm be like first day, you know, like tremor, you know, my hands like this. Uh, we be in this city. It's close to Kiev mm. and the Russian forces be very close and uh, almost all the time uh, shooting like mines, uh, grads and stuff like that. I be in good, uh, safe place, but it's be like first my when I hear it, when I feel it. And uh, it's be real scary because yeah. I'm be like a little panic, but I have good friends who say how it's feelings. They explain me, they uh, tell me about this. So, but uh, when you 
feelings and when you somebody say about this yeah. you understand it it's very different. DBL Nation, if you want to help, and I know you do right now, you can donate to Kirsten's website. 100% of the donations will pay for more supplies. So go to KirstenBloomAllen.com. Much love to you both. Much protection. Thank you for being here. Thank we'll be guys. right back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely.